Hello Scorpio and welcome to your monthly astrology for, uh, for the month of September 2016. Um, it is a pretty heavy month. It's the eclipse month. Um, so there's two eclipses plus Mercury's in retrograde. There's major energy shifts too because Jupiter um, switches signs and all that too. But then there is um, the Saturn-Neptune square that's been ongoing and creating fear all over the world for the past um, year or so is going to start dissipating too, but it will be coming to a head, especially um, the eclipses. So that's something to look at. Um, this is just um, major aspects for um, the month of September, and um, I don't include astrologies on my readings when I do the um, gemstone tarot cards and uh, coffee cup readings because I know everybody would just want to get into the reading. So I just want to do a quick video on that just to see what's up. Um, astrology goes in really deep. So I just do the basics here, um, what what will affect you the most. And if you want a comprehensive, um, detailed astrological um, profile, email me and I'll let you know how to obtain that. Um, anyway, so let's get on with your astrological forecast well september 1st the solar eclipse in virgo um will make a a a square with um it's aspecting the saturn neptune ongoing square so that's going to even hype up the energy um in, in a frustrating way which um virgo this solar eclipse will be touching in on your 11th house so this is the house of friendships um partnerships groups uh, wishes, dreams, and fears, as I always say, long-term goals. Um, you can expect a lot of anxiety in decisions that day. Those um, issues just arising because there's this, a sense that um, eclipses always want to uh, accumulate things and re resolve issues and eclipse, as they say, uh, erase anything that's not serving you in those areas anymore. But then on September 2nd, Mercury, it is in retrograde, but it does um, uh, conjunct Jupiter in the 11th house. Again, so now you're seeing a little bit, you know, it's more of a relief from the very, very heavy energy of the of previous day. So you may feel a little bit, you know, optimistic. It's a good day to discuss the ideas or any options and solutions to um, the issues of the 11th house, as we were just uh, mentioning. Then on the 6th, the sun trines Pluto, and that happens like twice a year only, every year. And that's the day, um, that day, it's like you're going to feel more in control, more positive um, in the 11th house issues that's been, you know, just like sparked from the solar eclipse. On the 9th, Jupiter enters Libra. So um, that is your 12th house. So you're entering your 12th house. You moved in from the 11th from um, Jupiter leaving Virgo. So now we are entering the 12th house um, in uh, Libra. Uh, that's a, a year cycle about, I think it's about 13 months this year when it moves into um, your sign next month. <laughs> um, so you're going to be dealing with the 12th, uh, 12th house themes, you know, um, things that occur behind the, uh, a lot of, you probably could be doing a lot of work behind the scenes. If you have been already anyway, that's going to be a lot in focus. Um, Jupiter expands anything um, for good or bad. People don't know that. They all think it's just a lucky planet. Yeah, but it's a planet of expansion. So we're looking at 12th house things. Um, it's spiritual growth projects, um, secrets, things like that, you know, and, and just trying to make a quick video. Um, so those things depends on your own personal chart. If there's anything in those um, areas that were not working well or not great, they're going to expand, come forth, and you're going to have to deal with them. But um, otherwise, this is a great time to do all that behind the work scenes and that and um things can really you can be lucky with um 12th house themes this year you know that's which is religion too i mean it's education and so much more in the 12th house it's the spiritual house um you could also heighten your um intuition and stuff like that so but on the 10th um the saturn neptune um ongoing square that we've had is going to start 
dissolving, even though it's still making, it's going to kind of bring up fears again and all that, but it's going to, it's, it's at its highest point at that moment. And that's where it's going to start dissolving and we're going to see um, more relief and we're not going to see this aspect for like a few years. So thank goodness. <laughs> Um, on the 13th, the sun does make a hard aspect with Mars. You could be um, ready to move forward really quick in all your goals and things that you want get uh, things that you want to get done, like you know long term goals and stuff like that. But that could also you could come across really aggressive in that, and um, you're just so ambitious, and that that it can create some arguments. You may be even arguing with friends because it is in your 11th house. So just keep it cool that day and let that pass because it's not in the best aspect. On the 16th is the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces. That's in your fifth house. So now we are bringing up um, the issues from the solar eclipse, um, merging in with the fifth house here. Um, and you're going to see either a culmination of all these issues. They're all going to rise again and you, there's going to be endings to it. This could be dealing with children, your love life, um, cr your creative projects, um, creative uh, things, sports, uh, all fifth house themes. Um, so there's going to be some endings that you have to let go of or that you're going to find like um, some solution to it or ways that, that things that need to be fixed and ways that will be, um, you know, like breakthroughs and that through that. And then on the 18th and 19th, those days, um, Venus, which is in your 12th house with Jupiter now, um, is making a great aspect. You know, um, it's a good day to have epiphanies. Uh, you could be dating, you could have a romantic rendezvous, secret lovers, so to speak. Um, like I said, keeping it private, you know, you keeping things more private, secretive, but um, just excitement and uh, happiness and just um, good things coming your way that day. On the 22nd, Mercury does go direct. But it's in a station period. Like I said, um, anyone that follows the rule of thumb two weeks prior a retrograde and two weeks um, post retrograde is still a shadow period. So just um, let that kind of the, you know, take things slow. And at this, uh, the same day that uh, the sun also enters Libra, and now we're, we, we are really um, congested here in your 12th house themes. So. The focus is going to shift everything back into your 12th house here behind the scenes, playing, um, planning and preparing for long-term goals, projects, introspection, things like that. On the 26th, the sun shines Jupiter. That's a beautiful aspect. You're going to be feeling really good, spectacular about long-term goals. It is excellent time for, um, if you're a teacher, you know, teaching is going to go very well. Anything dealing with education, you may actually sign up for a class. Um, it's favorable for spirituality, religious beliefs, um, a deeper meaning, and finding the light bulb switch. You know, so it's a good day for epiphanies and things like that. Things that I just mentioned. On the thirtieth is the new moon in Libra in your twelfth house. So here we're starting a whole fresh new beginning and the 12th house theme again um your health basically <sighs> um i would just worry about over exhaustion um because we're dealing with um well mars and saturn it's dealing with the first house in that so you could be feeling a little run down you could have aches and pains um muscle cramps um just, you know, things like that from over exercising or, over, you know, do you, you just going to be full of energy. So just watch out for those little aliments, you know, take a rest, take a break. That's how we always have to do it. So, um, yeah, so that's about it for, um, 
the month of September. Um, I hope, uh, what was I going to say? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm again, just tired today. Tomorrow I should be doing my tarot card readings and for the month and I'll, I'll be posting those. I'm hoping to get those up tomorrow. So uh, look out for those. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And that's it. Um, I hope you have a wonderful September. Um, uh, remember all the energies that we're going through. We are always in control. Just always find the positive and anything negative. That's how I say it. So anyway, Scorpio, thank you and have a great day. Bye.